Neil Young approves Tim Walz's DNC use of Rockin' in the Free World after suing Donald Trump for playing it. The enduring singer-songwriter personally approved the vice presidential candidate's use of the song, Rockin' in the Free World, on the campaign trail, a representative for Young confirmed to Entertainment Weekly. The song blasted as Walls departed the stage at the Democratic National Convention in Chicago on Wednesday night. The track, which comes from Young's 1989 album Freedom, has been a source of political contention in prior presidential campaigns. When Donald Trump officially announced his campaign in 2015, he used Rockin' as his walkout song, which prompted Young's team to issue a statement alleging that The Apprentice star did not have authorization to use the song. Later, Young, who supported Bernie Sanders in the 2016 election but could not vote due to his Canadian citizenship, reversed his position. The fact that I said I was for Bernie Sanders and then Trump didn't ask me to use Rockin' in the Free World doesn't mean that he can't use it, he told Reuters, noting that the campaign actually did obtain a license to use the song. I got nothing against him. You know, once the music goes out, everybody can use it for anything. However, the musician shifted gears again after Trump played Rockin' and other Young tracks during his 2020 campaign. Young first disapproved of the then-president's use of Rockin' and like a hurricane in a 4th of July event at Mount Rushmore, writing, This is not oak with me on social media. Young then filed a lawsuit against the Trump campaign for playing Rockin' and Devil's Sidewalk at a rally in Tulsa, Oklahoma alleging copyright infringement and noting in his filing that he, in good conscience, cannot allow his music to be used as a theme song for a divisive, un-American campaign of ignorance and hate, according to the New York Times. Young dropped the lawsuit in December 2020, after Trump lost the election. Young also used his discography as a bargaining chip during a dispute with Spotify, ultimately pulling his catalog from the streaming service in protest of its support of controversial podcaster Joe Rogan in 2022. Walls' social media history suggests that he's a voracious listener of 70s and 80s rock, with posts flaunting vinyl halls that include Genesis, Warren Zevin, Steve Winwood, and the Mooby Blues, as well as John Cougar Mellencamp and Bob Seger. He also still listens to eight-track tapes by the Cars and has signed bills and proclamations declaring statewide celebrations of musicians like Taylor Swift, Bruce Springsteen, Beyonce, and Prince as governor of Minnesota. And upon Walls' selection as Kamala Harris' running mate, Beto O'Rourke recalled extended conversations with the governor about Bob Dylan, The Replacements, and Hesker Du. Pop music has been a defining facet of the 2024 DNC, with DJ Cassidy playing a number of state-specific songs during Tuesday night's rollicking roll call that also included a performance by Lil Jon. Stevie Wonder, John Legend, Sheila E., Common, Marin Morris, Patti LaBelle, Jason Isbell, and Mickey Guyton also delivered musical performances during the first three nights of the convention.